Welcome back to the show. It is the fall meet at Harrington Raceway. We are covering now on post time, but we are going to rewind a little bit to the spring meet and talk about a horse named Morong. And I've got D.W. Kamak with me. He's the trainer of this horse. This horse had like six wins during the spring meet and then went to Ocean Downs and had a couple wins. How impressed are you by him? Um, he's been a pleasant little surprise. We, we bought him privately back in November and uh, he seems to like this half mile and he's just been a pleasant surprise. I want to add also, you see that I was nice enough to wait till you did have one loss. Okay, we don't want to dwell on any losses, but you know, I. <laughs> well, I just, I brought it up because probably week after week, DW was thinking I'd be getting on the cell phone saying, how about an interview? How about an interview? But I, but I waited, I waited. No, no, that, believe me, I'm surprised you called. I'm glad you called me and tickled up to be yeah. here. Oh, you are, wow, I think that's a. <laughs> the enthusiasm. <laughs> My enthusiasm just radiates just, off of me. Just feel it. I can just feel it coming right off of you. <laughs> I, and ditto. Ditto to you uh, about that, too. Too, huh? <laughs> All right. All right, let's talk about the horse a little bit. Um, any quirks or a personality? Tell me about him. He's just like a grumpy old man that kind of likes to be left alone. Uh, and also, but he does kind of transform when he gets on the track. He is all business, and he's, I think he's had almost over 200 starts, so he's been there and done that enough times to pretty much have a clue what's going on out there. What's his daily routine like? Does he do anything special as far as exercising or anything? Um, some days he swims. We swim him, and some days we hit the track with him. So we kind of alternate between the jogging and the swimming. Oh, that's very cool to know because that kind of keeps a horse sort of interested and lively about, you know, not just walking out of the stall and hitting the track, right? Yeah, it kind of helps our attitude a little bit and helps uh, as far as the soundness and all too. So anything to kind of keep them happy is always a plus. Okay, now talking about keeping horses happy, what about your owners? Okay, so your owners are, tell me who they are. Uh, they are my in-laws, uh, Phil and uh, Sue Patron and my wife, Beth. So you own Morong, okay, with your wife um, and your in-laws. All right, so how is that going for you? <laughs> well, we normally have Thanksgiving over there at the uh, in-laws, and so far as at this point, I think I'm still invited, but we'll take that week by week depending on how this horse races. <laughs> <laughs> the fall meet is here, so yeah, it's only... It's still a couple months away, Thanksgiving anyhow, so I mean, as, at this point, I'm still invited, I believe, so, but we'll take it week by week. Now, do you know Morong, like what that means? or? Um, it's a small town in Australia, supposedly. Uh, I'm impressed. How did you find that out? Because I had to Google it. I'm just a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, that's what we did, too. Oh, you yeah. did? <laughs> oh, nice. Population 393, by the way. Oh, I think even um, just about the size of uh, downtown Harrington. I didn't even know that, so you're impressing me. I just found <laughs> knew it was a town. I didn't get the population and on the size. That's what I try to do. That's sort of like one of my to-do lists, you know, weekly is what can I do this week to impress D.W. Kamak? And I did it this week. I can... You succeeded, for, you know, <laughs> beyond all expectations with me. I'm just glowing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, DW, and I hope your horse continues to impress you like uh, I'm impressing you today. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to head back to the Harrington Raceway Spring Meet for this one and check out just one of Morong's many winning performances in this Delaware underbred claiming event for trotters over the first state half mile harness track. They're off, the Liberty loving out for the lead, along with Morong. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty is there. Black Tie's got the rail. And then comes Sugar Valley Alley, Celebrity Caviar, and Rush Fan. And they go to the back stretch. The Liberty loving quickly opens up three lengths. Morong got away in second, followed by Black Tie. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty is fourth, trotting fifth, Sugar Valley Alley. At the end are Celebrity Caviar and Rush Fan, midway up the back stretch. The Liberty loving opens up three and a half lengths. In second, that's Morong. Behind Morong is Black Tie, another two and a half. Rusty, 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 28 and four fifths. They race on the far turn. It's D Liberty 11, two and a half. Morong is there, second, followed by Black Tie. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty is fourth. Then it's Sugar Valley Alley. Trailer Celebrity Caviar and Rush Fan as they trot by the stands, leading the way. D Liberty 11, two lines in front of Morong. 
That's Black Tie in third, racing fourth, Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. Then comes Sugar Valley Alley. The trailers are Celebrity Caviar and a Rush Fan. 58 and three-fifths into the turn, and it's Delivery Eleven, followed by Morong. Still there in third is Black Tie. Sugar Valley Alley's up into fourth. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty back to fifth. And then it's Celebrity Caviar and Rush Fan as they race up the back stretch. Delivered 11, a length and a half. Morong is there. Sugar Valley Alley racing on the outside with the rail. That's Black Tie. And then it's Rusty, 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 Celebrity Caviar, off stride, Rush Fan, 128 and 2, racing on the final turn. Delivered 11, Morong. Sugar Valley Alley and Black Tie, and that's about it. They come over toward the top of the stretch that way. And Delivered 11 has the lead over Morong as they come off the turn. Delivered 11, Morong swings to the outside coming through the stretch. Here comes Morong up on the outside now after the lead, and Morong goes by and takes the lead and draws away from Delivered 11. Black Tie holds third over Sugar Valley Alley, 158 and 1. The Australian native Morong has certainly made himself a rated home in Delaware. In this effort, he wins in 158 and 1 for trainer D.W. Kamak, with John Wagner driving. Morong is racing here at the Harrington Raceway Fall Meet, so come out and see this little guy in action. When can you come on out for live racing this meet? I'm glad you asked. Four nights a week, that's Monday through Thursday. You can get up close and personal to your favorite standard red stars. And each night the post time's at 5.30 p.m. And there are great food promotions all week long at Harrington Raceway. On Monday, take advantage of the 9.95 Prime Rib Buffet. Tuesday, it's our always popular two for one Clubhouse Buffet Special. Enjoy a delicious dinner on Wednesday when you get your choice of $7.95 entrees that include meatloaf, chicken and dumplings, and turkey with gravy. Then on Thursday, gobble up $1 hot dogs, and there's also $1 natural light drafts too. And remember, there's always free parking and free admission at the First State Half Mile Racetrack. For more information, call 302-398-RACE or visit them on the web at harringtonraceway.com.